This video is about geometric sums, taking a geometric series or sequence and adding them up. That's all that's going on. So, okay, finite sum of a geometric series has a definite beginning and ending. Remember, we used those terms before. So this is the way the problem will be given to you in sigma form with the beginning and the ending. This is like the nth term, the 12th or the 15th or whatever. A sub 1 should be familiar. That's the first term of the series sequence. R is the common ratio. And n is the same n that's above the sigma. So identify the parts from the problem. Then we plug them into this formula right here. A sub 1 times 1 minus r to the nth power over 1 minus r. All right, so A sub 1 from our formula is the 4. 1 minus r to the nth power over 1 minus r. Okay, plug this in your calculator. Remember, do parentheses first, always. And I get 5.7, rounding to the nearest tenth. That's all there is to doing to finding a finite sum. Well, what happens if it's an infinite sum? Well, you know that because it's an, an infinity on top there. Okay, there's another formula to follow. A sub 1, first term of the sequence. R is the common ratio. I is where did it start? Okay, what value does it start with? And there's your formula, a sub 1 over 1 minus r. It's, it's a lot simpler. So you just plug in the values given the problem. a sub 1 in this problem was 1 minus, I'm sorry, 1, 4. a sub 1 is 4, so I put 4 over 1 minus r, which is 0 0.06. All right? That is all there is to this. It's just 4 minus, I'm sorry, 4 divided by 1 minus. And guess what you get? You get a big fat 10. That's it. All right? These formulas will be handed to you. You just have to know when and how to use them. Okay, for class, I want you to try this one. You have to decide is it finite or infinite, and then make sure you use the correct equation. Good luck. See you tomorrow.